the number one feature for women regarding their cycling shorts was Hi, I'm Helena. I'm one of the voices from Ride Roar. We just think of roar like the sound that comes out when you're when you're pushing hard and when you're like fighting for what you believe in, like kind of like a lion or whatever you want it to be. You can say it however you want. It's it's for the people. Yeah, so we have something finally exciting going on. Ugh, it's been such a long process, actually a year in the making. We had one year ago a workshop where all these awesome women came together and everyone brought their favorite pair of shorts. And we kind of like dissected the shorts and said, what is our favorite part about it? And we found actually that thing we liked in some of the shorts we had, like maybe you would have shorts with a pad that you knew you could trust for long rides or you had shorts that had like a really lightweight material for hot rides but like none of us had this short that was really had everything that we were looking for so we had this workshop and we also sent out surveys kind of more international around the world and got a bunch of feedback and I have to tell you the number one complaint or the number one feature for women regarding their cycling shorts was wanting to go pee and wearing bibs and having to take everything off and it being this like really slow process. So we said, okay, whatever we do with these shorts, we have to make them pee friendly. So I'd like to introduce to you this prototype for our pee friendly bib shorts. In our conversations, we also heard women say that when they first started cycling, they didn't get bib shorts because they didn't know what was the intention of the straps or the bibs or the suspenders. And when they finally did get a pair of bib shorts, they generally didn't go back to cycling with non-bib shorts. Personally, the only time I wear non-bib shorts is like in spin, spin class, indoor spinning. For me, and I'll show you after when I put these on, what I like about bib shorts is that they're kind of like a high rise without the band digging in and pressing in for, for hours on end. So first things first is the material. We talked about having a supportive material. So the material we ended up choosing is kind of this semi compression but not like restricting feeling material so there is a lot of elasticity to it but like something I found I have this pair of shorts which was actually a really expensive pair of shorts and now the material I don't know if you can see this it's almost like if you wore a bathing suit too much and I mean these shorts were like 220 francs and this is two years of having them and it's really like overstretched out and I'm like so devastated so we wanted a material that was supportive but still allowed you to move and feel comfortable second topic was the band that goes around the legs um, depending on on the material or where where on your thigh it hit it would create this kind of like sausage effect our solution which we're testing out is that the gummy these little dotties which are these really fine little i don't even know how you would describe this like pimples <laughs> In this case, it only goes like 80% around and then there's just fabric here without any gummy there. And the idea was that there would be a little bit less tension in that region. But of course, that's definitely something we want your feedback on, whether or not we should have that gummy going all the way around or not, or if it should be like a little bit of extra, extra give. So the other topic for discussion, the third topic for discussion was the pad. We kind of ended up splitting up into two schools of thought for the pad. The option that we went with is from Elastic Interface, which is basically just like the leader in, in chamois. And we went with, this is called the Performance Road Force, Women Eco Carbon something something. It is a denser pad, but it has different densities. Like here, it's a bit denser and here it's a bit softer towards the pubic bone area. And the reason we chose this pad is first of all, a bunch of women did a huge review on like pad shorts and they found that this was generally the best pad for everyone. And second, we had also tested something with a little bit more give, a little bit softer, but we found that this pad was like just a bit more of an all rounder that sometimes 
sometimes with the thicker version you would feel like sort of could feel like a diaper and what we liked about this one was that it gave you like a nice point of contact so you felt protected but you could still feel your saddle underneath like sometimes uh, do you ever get that where it feels like you're literally sitting on a pillow and you can never get comfortable in your saddle position so we're testing this pad now again and we really want your feedback a recap is the material the end seam and this is also a seamless cut and then finally the pad before obviously the piece de resistance is wow did you hear that french accent um is the p feature so i'm going to put these on because that's the best way to show you okay so something something i want you to know about this process I looked at like a million ways to do the p bib short we saw brands with a clip at the front we saw brands with a clip in the back and we just didn't think the clip was a good solution because you're always going to be having to like put it over your head and if you got your helmet on and then you're going to be looking for the clip back here and trying to pin it together so how this works is there is a panel here which by the way i just love you know you can get into this position and it's just it's just holding you in without pinching you which is the goal here and all you've got to do to go pee stick your thumbs in here and pull down i promise it works also something we did with these shorts is added a few extra centimeters so i'm wearing a large and i'm 183 centimeters tall for me it's really hard to find shorts that have a good length but I have to say like the idea with these shorts is to get your feedback. We think that this is like an ongoing process. First of all, like other people have different expectations from their shorts, but we want to keep working to develop this pair of shorts. And it's, it's, I promise you, this isn't a sales pitch. It's just that I wanted these shorts for myself and I couldn't find them. So I went out and found a producer and drove to Italy and spent hours <laughs> trying to like speak Italian English and explain the vision for these shorts and the vision that the women also entrusted in me with this with these shorts. So this is prototype A and we want women to test them for the next season, which means we are going to open it up to pre-orders for the short. It's not a full price short since we acknowledge it's not a 100% finished product. So we just have to cover our costs and the producer's costs. But the idea is that you get a pair of shorts that one, feel really comfortable and you can go pee in. The idea is that you pre-order the shorts. That way we only produce what we need. And then we're going to get them to you hopefully early, early spring 2023, hopefully March, somewhere around there. And you're gonna be our testers and you're gonna ride all year with the shorts and give us feedback. What do you like? What kind of changes would you like to see? And then we can keep developing this awesome idea and create a pair of bib shorts that you're always gonna wanna reach for. That's the goal. And then you can go pee in and like removing barriers. Honestly, it's all about removing barriers because so much of what we as women have when it comes to cycling is founded on male products. It's produced things for guys and then tried to just adapt it to women by adding pink or adding some flowers. And we wanna like rethink that whole process and say, what are the actual needs of women? And it's way more than aesthetic. We wanna reduce barriers to you riding and want you to feel confident on the road. So that's it, no bullshit, I promise you. Please participate in our pre-order and if you want to be a tester if you want to give us feedback and if you want to hopefully eventually get the most comfortable pairs of shorts made in Europe at a price that is not going to make you cringe get in touch <laughs> and, and pre-order with us have a great day and I can't wait to see what we can do for women in cycling